Hello everyone out there. This is Joe Jerdy, BlackberryOS.com. I am here with Adam Stanley. He is the team lead of developer relations for HTML5 and Air at RIM, uh, otherwise known as the HTML5 guru, uh, which most people know him by. And how are you doing today, Adam? Hey Joe. I'm doing well. Thanks very much for uh, talking with me today. Yeah, not a problem. Thanks for uh, connecting with me. I know we we talked, we spoke at uh, BlackBerry Jam Americas, and you said you had promised to get a hold of me, and you did, and I appreciate that. And I have a few questions here. Um, well, why don't you first uh, tell the listeners a little bit about yourself, uh, how long you've been with RIM, uh, you know, a little bit more about what you do with uh, Research in Motion. Sure thing. I actually just got my uh, five-year anniversary at RIM recently. So uh, oh. I started in 2007 as a web developer uh, within the org, um, and then joined developer relations not too long after that. And uh, it's pretty magical ever since. Uh, well, uh, my my position with with Devrel really gives me the cool opportunity to do great things with our developer community. So, uh, like Blackbridge Jam America. Yep, and uh, congratulations for you on that. So let's see here. Let's go to the first question. What would you say the main benefit in having HTML5 and WebWorks involved with the BlackBerry platform? What is that? What would you say the main benefit is? Um, well, I'll answer that from two perspectives. One from the developer's perspective and the other from the user's. So uh, for web developers, uh, the interest in having a cross-platform solution in order to address as wide an audience as possible uh, is very desirable. Right. You want to have as many users using your, your code, your application as possible. Uh, obviously, in an attempt to monetize that and make a business out of it. Um, so, web, obviously, is a great technology for doing that. It was designed to be cross platform, it was designed for the browser. So, a developer should be able to build an app uh, that is able to reach a variety of devices and platforms, regardless of technology, uh, and provide a consistent experience across the two. So, to achieve that, we've you know, enabled our Black Pretend platform, powered by uh, industry-leading web platform. Obviously, we saw some scores last week and some metrics uh, shared about the, the performance and quality of the Black Pretend platform. Uh, currently leading the pack in HTML5 standard support, um, really rocking it in terms of performance. So we're we're proud of that, and we're very confident that we can give developers the ability to provide a world class. Uh, and likewise, the, the, the side effect of that, of course, is the users benefit directly. Uh, the, the developer community is able to offer users high quality content, very rich uh, multimedia, good quality online uh, performance, and so on. So let them do the things they care about, and access the information they care about, and break rapid. Well, thanks. Yeah, that's uh, that makes a lot of sense. Um, uh, you know, with the benefit, you know, the how. How open HTML5 is and how common it is, you know, and bringing it to why not bring it to to a, a big platform like BlackBerry? Um, so oh, definitely. Um, yeah, no, go ahead. No, no, I was just going to compliment that and say that um, you know our browser dev team is uh, really a group of all stars and they've created a really amazing open platform. That, you know, like I said, that's really high standard. Well, this next question then will will kind of tie into that because it kind of asks, kind of goes upon uh, what what the limits are, um, and and that is, you know, you know, what would be the limits of HTML5 for game for gaming on BlackBerry 10? I mean, is such like, you know, can you do 3D content, high content? You know, is there a limit there? Will is it progressing, and 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 will it get better? So there won't be a limit for HTML5 in gaming. Right. Good, good question. Gaming is a very special use case, uh, of course, uh, mostly because you build a really good, high quality, rich game um, that usually comes with a really large number of assets, right? You need really big graphic and audio files and those sorts of things, um, right? Like you ever installed a game from a DVD or you know, multiple CDs or so on, you usually had gigabytes worth of data that you first had to load on your computer before you could actually uh, run it. That right. model doesn't always work in the web world where you always have to download something or access something. Um, things like the WebWorks platform do change that slightly, right? Developers can now package that content into the app such that when the user deploys it on their device, it's immediately ready. As for um, what you can do 
with the issue of live gaming, I can certainly you know, say with a high degree of confidence that things are getting better within the web world. Right? Like just recently with uh, the Playbook 2.0 platform that was a few months ago, uh, we introduced support for WebGL. So web developers can take advantage of that technology to build uh, games that take advantage of 3D and you know, open GL just based on that. In fact, we're one of the first mobile platforms to offer that to developers in a full integrated context right into the web platform. So the number of you know, frameworks and libraries are there. Some examples are three JS, jQuery, and so on. Right. Oh great. So here's the next here's a good question for you. Um you know, because a lot of people, there's a lot of web developers out there, and uh, they they might not necessarily know where that where to start um, as far as if they wanted to to become a developer using the WebWorks uh, developer tools for BlackBerry. Um, so, what would you tell them? You know, just starting out, you know, bare bones. Where what would you tell them to go? Where to go and how to start to 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 start making apps? Right. Um, so. First foremost starting point, of course, is developer.blackberry.com slash HTML5. We've structured that page as best we can in order to, to welcome new developers to the platform in a way that makes it easy for them to understand what tools, what technologies, and what steps they need to be successful. So you know, at the very top, right at the very forefront, we have our getting started tutorials where you learn about different developer tools, we link to things like you know, building your very first app, Hello World, the classic Hello World sample application. And there's a number of other links that, that guide developers off to us, like example. We've got a number of um, fully featured applications that we've open sourced. You can download the full code for it, look at it, see how it works. Um, building a, web, a BlackBerry app using web technologies uh, requires the use of the, the WebWorks SDK. This is a developer framework that allows you to take your existing web assets. HTML, JavaScript, CSS file, packaged into a BlackBerry container that is a fully featured standalone application. And it's an app that you deploy to App World, you can just download it, use it just as this for any other application on the device. It just happens to be a web content running inside that container. A web developer typically develops like this. They make they go to their, their editor, they make a change, they go back to the browser and they hit refresh. And they iterate that cycle over people over maybe 10, 20, 000 times or so until they're happy and they're complete. Um, and the, the principles of Ripple allow you to do that, continue to do that, but also within the context of BlackBerry applications as well. Nice. You don't need to load up you know, a slow simulator. You don't need to install any development tools right until the last step to get ready to actually hit that build button. You can focus on your content your development right away. And then only when you're happy with it, and you have that build package design button to get something loaded up on the device. So, this next question is uh, kind of our final question here. And um, I wanted to ask, you know, to end on, you know, where do you see HTML5 going into the future and beyond with Bla not necessarily just BlackBerry 10, but with the BlackBerry platform? I mean, how do you, how do you see it? You know, is there any, any other. Integration and you know anything, just anything off the top of your head. I I definitely believe it's going to continue to grow and become an integral part of the platform. You know, it's already our browser, the BlackBerry 10 browser, was built with HTML5, right? The Chrome, the the slide out menus, the address bar, everything you see um, built with you know web technology. Right. We're, we're investing energy into things like the native web view. So if you're an NDK developer, if you want to embed web content in your app, it's going to be easy for you to do that. And we're working with external communities such as jQuery and Sencha and PhoneGap even to make sure that when developers choose their platforms to build content for, it's going to have an optimized BlackBerry experience. Um, there's been a, definitely a lot, of, a lot of interest within the company and awareness for how important the web and HTML5 is, uh, not only for developers but also users. So a lot, a lot of what the, what the browser team is working on in terms of you know, improving their WebKit engine, uh, the web work that's to gave, the embedded web tools and so on, is also going to be leveraged uh, within that. We, we described it briefly actually last week at Jam during one of the uh, breakout sessions. It was Matt, Matt and Eli's session about the new Black Hat 10 browser. Um, they indicated how it was going to be used. So if any, if any of your listeners are interested in uh, seeing that, I think it was called Jam 56. Go watch it live for free online. 
Nice. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> people, I know you're on Twitter a lot, and you and you help you help people on Twitter quite a bit. Um, where can they find you on Twitter? What's your uh, what's your your Twitter name? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, N Neil underscore Adam underscore Stanley. Okay, great. Yeah, and I'll put a little link there under so everybody will know to to click on it and, and follow you on there, you know, because that's a great way to get access to you. I think I have a few times myself, so. Great. Well, hey, Adam, uh, thanks for uh, sitting in with me today and speaking with the BlackRoast.com community. Um, I really appreciate it, man, and uh, and uh, we'll see you at the, the next uh, upcoming events, and I'm excited to see what's going to be coming for WebWorks, HTML5, and such. All right. Well, thank you, Joe, for your time. I was happy to have a chance to talk with you today. All right, bud. Have a good one, man.